Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve the Rubik's Cube under 30 seconds. This is CFOP, or in other words, known as the Friedrich Method. <clears throat> okay, so in this method, I'm going to be showing you guys also the new cube I bought from Amazon, the Moyu Along, which is a professional speed cube. Just take it out of the box quickly. Okay. And in order to know how to do how to do this method, you need to know how to do the beginner's method, which I've taught you guys before with a standard Rubik's cube. So just mix up the cube, I guess. Okay. So you should you guys should know the notations for the algorithms if you guys don't know I'm just gonna show you guys right now the side that you're facing isn't always will be the front side the side to the left of you isn't always will be the left side right side um top side bottom side and back whenever I say one of those sides I say I mean to rotate them once clockwise I might also tell them tell you to rotate them twice you can rotate them anyway because either which way you're going to have the same product so yeah, you guys should know clockwise, counterclockwise. So yeah, now you can begin. So step one is to get the cross. You guys should already know how to get the cross. So yeah, if you don't, check out my tutorial for the beginner's tutorial. So yeah, you get the cross done. Okay, now if you ever, you want to have a lookout for an F2L pair, which here is a perfect example. It's where you have a corner with white on it, and right next to it is its corresponding edge. If you're like this, if you're in a case like this where you have that on the top layer, and it's ex in exact position how it's supposed to be, bring it right above where it needs to go. You're gonna rotate it down so it's where it needs to go, but you have to fix this to fix the cross and move it out of the way. Bring this up and put that back, so we have this. Now, if you're ever like this, where you have where they are right next to each other, how they're supposed to be, except they're not twisted the correct way. In order to twist them the correct way, look at the color that's next to white on it. If white is facing up, orient it so that white is on the right side and the edge is still next to it. And the color next to white, whatever color it is, let's say it's green. You want to have the top side of that edge be green. It's not, it's orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an empty spot, which happens to be right here. Bring it in the back left and bring this side down so this empty spot could spin around. You're going to just spin this around like that. So you have this case. So so basically this if this if this corner exactly how it is were to be twisted all the way back here, it would actually be oriented and twisted the right way. But Instead of moving the corner where it has to be, we're going to move the edge where it has to be. We're going to move it from here to there. Because look, these two top colors are the same. Now we're going to look for an empty slot. So here's an empty slot. Bring that down. Do up two. So it's right here. And now they're, now they're how they're supposed to be. So you can just put it in like the way I taught you guys. Now if you're ever like this, you don't have any, and I mean any, actual, um, F2L pairs. Basically, you want to make one, obviously. So look for an empty spot, and you're going to actually take a corner and put it put it right above where it needs to go. I mean, not right above where it needs to go, right above an empty slot, and just do it in a way so that the... and do something so that the edge is going to be running back. So when you put this up, they're going to be connected. Move it out of the way so you can bring this down. So now you can see... The white is actually on the top side. We don't want that. And here's an empty slot, so we could just do that. And now the white is actually on the right, and orange, blue. They're not the same. So find an empty slot, do that. And do up two like that. And like that. And that was the basic way of doing it. And and also if you're like this, you have a corner there and the edges up there. Just you don't need to do any of those. You could just do a beginner's method that because that's still gonna be fast because that's kind 
only one or two edges will actually be like that. Now I'm going to show you guys another way that you could do it if you're in a very difficult case. So if you're, so you could also just look for an edge first instead of corner. So here I see an edge without yellow on it, orange, blue. You're gonna bring it up, okay? And basically, what you're gonna do is, so where it needs to go, it needs to go right here in the orange and blue place, right there. Right, it's right there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it to that. So the opposite color of orange on this edge is blue. So you're gonna bring it to the blue side, bring the orange side up, and rotate the top side so it's right here and bring this down. So this is where it needs to go. And you're gonna look for the corner. Just quickly look at the top layer, so I can see the corner that goes here. White, blue, white, white. Okay, white, blue, orange is not in the top layer. So you're gonna quickly look at the bottom layer. I see it. It's right here. So you're gonna bring it out. And depending on which way, which way the white side is facing, if the white side is facing up, you're going to hold it in the back, right? And you're going to do this algorithm. Up, right, up, invert, up counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, up, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, left, up to, le right counterclockwise, up, right, up, right counterclockwise, up to, right clockwise. What that does, it is is it actually puts that piece up there right there okay let me do let me look for another case okay boom so if you're ever like this where the white side is actually on the right again hold it in the back right and do up right and right counterclockwise up right up right counterclockwise up to right clockwise that actually puts it there and here we just have an edge pair, F2 up here, I'm sorry, put it there. And if you're ever like this, where it's twisted, where the both the edge and the corner are where they're supposed to be, but they're twisted the wrong way, just use that basic method that I just taught you guys. Okay? Okay, now, if you're ever in a case like this, actually, this is just for that method I just taught you guys before, but I forgot to mention this. If you're like this, where the corner is right here, and this color is red, and the top color, the edge that goes here is red, just put it in the beginner's way that I taught you guys, and you'll eventually have them paired up. So that was F12. And that was part one of the Frederick method. And for the next two parts, I will be teaching you guys... OLO, OLO, and PLO, which are just two more steps. So we had two steps already, the cross and the F2L, so that's two steps, and just OLO and PLO. That's all we have to do, and we're going to be done. It's just four steps rather than the beginner's method, which has like five to seven steps. So yeah. Peace out, rockers. Stay tuned for part two.